Greetings and a good evening. Welcome to the Atarangi. In this video, I collected as many Atarangi members and collaborators as I could to have a look back at my first album. On time was always, obviously, I only started the third one recently. I'll go over each track in a scripted part like this, and then we'll go into live reactions of each song, like this one. Alright, so let's have a let's have a look at the first song then. So this I one will is only listen to it. <laughs> so this one is called Heartbeat. And it's my first ever try at making music. That's the first thing I ever did in making music. Right. It's a short one. This is basically just like an album intro. It kind of is. This is space. <laughs> I uh, I did forget about this one. I actually thought that the old vinyl was the first. Th this one. is this has been in all of your song uh, videos early on. Oh yeah, it was it was in a lot of early videos. Yeah. Yeah, even I knew that part. So that little song was made in the FL Studio demo, meaning that I had to make it in one sitting. I switched to LMMS soon after this for the next track. I heard lo-fi was a pretty good genre for beginners, so I looked for some tutorials. After I found and followed one, I would point you to it, but I can't find it, I made the next song. For all the videos on this album, I used Visi.io to make visualizers for them, and I used some fancy old-school filters on collages of images that I made for the backgrounds, although some of them just have stock footage. Let's look at the next song. Next one's the old vinyl. The this is the first one I actually made in LMMS. Previous one was in, an, uh, in a demo version of FL Studio. Which is funny, because we're switching back to FL soon. Yosh, but actual FL. Most people would know this video if you've watched any of our other content. <laughs> I've never heard this before. Indeed. <laughs> oh, what a strange sound. It's just a royalty free footage of uh, a turning table and then uh, an audio an audio response spectrum from a free website. Yeah. This, this is video. still like a great song in my opinion. And like I yeah. I love that we have a, a, a loop version of this. Where we yeah, can we just have... like keep it going. Yeah, we've made a loop version with like different sections that can play in different ways. When outros takes you long. Yeah, yeah but well, also for time lapses. Yeah, we've, we've, we've used that. for time lapses. Usually the time lapses yeah, yeah, where we like put the film grain and stuff on screen and put our voices The on thing is though, like, it fits so well as an It should. So chill. So this is before I started using the filters to make a... Uh, Make the videos. Yeah. I think you. I think this is definitely one of the best songs of the album. Didn't you remix us? We can remix it. What? Didn't Didn't you remix it? Oh yeah, there's a remix of this on the same album. Uh, also, isn't there isn't there like a new version of this on the new album? Album? Uh, I don't think so. Is I'm making a, an, or an orchestral version. Like, That's not done though. Aren't you like making a, 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 a version based on this song every single album? Something like that? Uh, not on this one, no. I'm making. Uh, there is a heartbeat in every album. Okay. Pretty I love, song, I love the calmer part. Yeah. Which is all of it. <laughs> no, like, we just had a part. Like, this is a part where there's. Yeah, we have just music the whistly music boxes play. Now it's picking up again. Now it's a real shame. I I made this by following a tutorial for lo-fi music. Mm -hmm. I have tried I have tried to find the tutorial. I don't think it exists anymore. I've been meaning to credit the tutorial, but I can't find it. That was. It 
sad day. It's like an LMMS specific tutorial for lo-fi music. But I think it's got If anyone knows, like the first half of the the first bit of the melodies from the tutorial, the rest is milk. So if you recognize that, uh, let me know so I can link the tutorial that I used. It turns out this is the loop though. No. <laughs> I think we're almost done. Yeah. yeah, we're getting to the end. The old final is 4 minutes 24 seconds. Or 40 minutes. 42 <laughs> minutes and 40 seconds. <laughs> it's however long we want it to be. Mm -hmm. Alright, so which one of you all have noticed that there's a saxophone in this song? <laughs> Is it part of the bass? Uh, it's very quiet in the background at some point. It only plays a few times, so you really have to notice it. But there's a saxophone in a few parts. A saxophone should be in the foreground, though. Bruv, I, I, nah, it's not a good saxophone for foreground. I've, I've heard oh. this song, like, millions of times. How have I not noticed that? <laughs> I'll play a little clip of the saxophone being boosted right here. I do believe that that's the DSK saxophone. It sounds a bit like a horn in the way I used it here, though. The next track is Ghost Wind. Here the goal was to take what I have learned on the old final and to apply it without the tutorial. Ghostwind. So here I have started using the filters to turn my uh, backgrounds into paintings. I love how on the first album that was like how you do videos and then on the second album you started just doing Blender. Yeah. Uh, I'd say this is a song I'd hear in Minecraft but it's probably because I've heard this song while you lot play Minecraft. Uh, Might be. I don't think we use this one a lot. We've used it in the background of Minecraft videos. So it also sounds one. very Minecraft y. Yes. Joanna isn't here today because she couldn't do it. Eh. Uh, maybe for the next album. For, maybe for the next album watching. Probably when the fifth one is releasing, we'll watch the second one. <laughs> in like five years' time. Uh, in, in two years. Just delayed by like. I've been, every I've time. been consistently releasing an album a year here. For two years now. And I've been inconsistently releasing videos. And I'm gonna be honest here, the third album is finished. It's just not uploaded. <laughs> I've mostly finished all of the songs. How? <laughs> I'm, I'm fast. At all times, I have like... At least 10 unreleased, mostly finished I, songs. I love how you got a triangle in and gave it like a main role in the song. <laughs> I forgot that instrument exists. Because it's just a triangle. It, it's just a piece <laughs> of metal. Aren't most instruments? Well, no, violin is wood. For the next one, Cyberpunk came out. We were doing a let's play of that. So I followed this tutorial by EDM Tips to make the song called Neon Streets. The results are not far off from the tutorial. Here's the main differences. I have a very different soundscape. I don't use samples, he has some pre-made samples. He doesn't have the weird guitar thing at the end, and where I go to the robot voice part, he goes drum and bass. The next section has two songs in it, because I didn't want to cut this live section into two parts. And the second one is Barry's Furt. Furt? Barry's first try of making music. The song was made in two sessions of three hours in my house. And in that time, Barry had to make the song and learn the program. It's not great, but I like it nonetheless. There's a dedicated video for this project. It's this one. It's the first scripted video on this channel, so it's probably kind of bad. But first, next up, Neon Streets. Ah, Neon Street. I think this is a, a mirrored picture. Picture? A mirrored picture of Hong Kong with a neon filter over it. I thought of Cyberpunk. 
Oh yeah, the, the genre is cyberpunk. This comes from a tutorial to specifically make the style of the trailer music for cyberpunk. I still have the tutorial, it's this one. This was an alert on Joanna's channel, I think. Uh, yes. Hey, there's a trumpet. There's actually not though. That's vital synth. Yeah. I think a lot of the song was vital, wasn't it? Most of it, yeah. I use a lot of vital. I like it. The vital's pretty good. I also love how all of our guitars uh, are not actual guitars. I mean, this one is a robot voice. Yeah. Wait, did you robot? Did you make the Dalai Lama sound robotic? No, this isn't. I, oh, I no. didn't actually own the Dalai Lama yet for this one. You own the Dalai Lama. This is it. I did for this one though. Hey! <laughs> I don't think this one is in the review because it's technically <laughs> not on. Actually, it is. It is in, on the album. This is in, it's in Barry's racing video. Yeah, this is this is Barry's first try at making music. Oh, it's a banger. <laughs> this is a song we made together. <laughs> yeah, but it's technically on the album, so we should have it. Here. Because uh, parts of it get used in uh, "Perfectly Planned," which is the mm -hmm. last song on the album. The first part of this song is really bad, but the rest is pretty good. Yeah, I mean the mixing on this uh, on this song is terrible. <laughs> oh, the mixing is bad. We made this in like two days. Yeah, <laughs> this was a rushed project, but it was funny as hell. <laughs> I love the video itself is also just dumb. <laughs> I love the DLA Lava so much. Have I used the Dile Lama in anything? I love yes, how I, I love how in the video we spawn a second Dile Lama and move on. I didn't forward. notice. What the fuck? <laughs> Just the feet. We had so much I had so much fun making this video. <laughs> That's it's so pointless. Why is there a second? It was absolutely Because there's, there's actually two lamas playing in this time. I love the ending of this. Just... <laughs> For this next one, well, I like the sound of brass instruments, so I wanted to practice layering them. I also found a pretty cool tape stop sound effect, so let's look at the result. This so this song is... I like it's this pretty, song. It's pretty it's wack. It's very wack. It's very wack on purpose. For this one I took a public domain picture of a parade and drew moustaches and beards on all of the people. And then I put a filter over it. <laughs> But why though? Yep, sounds like a Klaus thing to me to do. <laughs> Cause Cause it's Klaus and that's what he does. Because th <laughs> this is uh, the last of the empire, this song. That's what it's called. Bregant, I, I swear to God, you do not want to know how often <laughs> he tells me like, yeah, I made a new, a new music video and he just shows it to me and I'm like, that's an asset I created that you just like scaled up wackily. <laughs> <laughs> it takes all the credit. <laughs> Okay. I mean, I have before, Barry made like a pillar support, and I made, flipped it upside down, scaled it up, gave it a bevel, and put a tabletop on top of it, and it's now the mix <laughs> of my table. It's just a table now. Look, it's my... In, in the project that I'm working on now, I was, I actually told Klaus, you know what, I'm just gonna finish the other side of this building even though we're never gonna see it just because I know you're gonna steal it and use it for something. <laughs> so for this, uh, for this song, I was just practicing with layering different brass instruments on top of each other and I was uh, playing with a, uh, a tape stop effect. I, I love how you got like a... Um, it's like a marching band. Um, yeah. Like more like uh, the song of the people or whatever, mm -hmm. but made it sound very whack because like yeah. 
is the last. It's the last of the Empire. It sounds back because the people who are supposed to be playing it are long gone. Oh. Yeah. That's a bit morbid. This went dark, really. Well, that's just me. It's, it's, like, it's like this is a recording that they made like on their last performance. Yeah. And it's being played like 500 years later. Yeah, it's like a broken thing. But that's what I was going for. Like right at the end, I have the brass playing like one triumphant last time without breaking. And then the tape dies. Next up is what I find to be my worst piece of music. I don't really know what I was thinking with those sticky clicky sounds. But it's an ambitious song. It has more sections in it than most of my songs, more instrument changes in it than most of my songs at that time. So let's have a listen, shall we? Then we've got the, From the Alleys to the Lounge, which is my least favorite thing I've made. It's my favorite one. <laughs> is it? I think the, the tappy sounds are way too high in the mix. Yeah, pretty so, loud. What the hell is that car doing? <laughs> <laughs> it's not rendered in yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's just <a> missing <laughs> This is a collage, by the way. This is like five pictures put together. I like the rest of the song is pretty good, but the type of oh, yeah, yeah. The uh, next album, after the one I just started, the one I just started is called All These Feelings. The next one after that is gonna be called Re Reuse, Reduce, Recycle, and I'm just gonna reuse parts I've, of it. I've heard that phrase before. What? The, the the recycle phrase. Yeah, that's uh, that's the proper way to uh, reduce trash. It's reduce, reuse, recycle. In in that order. And you're doing that with the songs. Yosh. I like the space scroll that I did here. We'll have to we'll have to review the other albums from now. I've got some really nice keys happening in this song though. I like this part. Yeah, yeah. Like this song has really good parts to it, but I don't like it. I'm gonna reuse a lot of this on the on the, the next album after the, the album. The fun, the fun thing about like going back to this album is like this was your first album. Mm -hmm. We all knew it was not gonna be the greatest. Yeah, some of the songs are excellent. In there. There's a few like real gems in there. And there's a lot of like mediocre stuff. I've, I've been going to uh, big names bands and like just going back to their first albums and just selecting the good songs and yeah. you notice that the older the album is, the, like, the less experienced they were, that there's more music that I'm like, nah, it doesn't make the cut. With a lot of bands, the earliest stuff tends to be better though. Not oh, really. Else? Not the actual early stuff. The with, early with stuff, like uh, it's usually the early stuff under their new band name. They usually like restart, and that's when they have like great stuff. Mm -hmm. The one uh, musician I uh, very much like was like in a band for long, and then he like went solo. Yeah. I forgot Simni was here as well, to be fair. The first thing he said something in like yeah, 20 minutes. <laughs> he has said some stuff. Simni has, Simni has spoken. Yes, I have spoken. Simply speak it, simply take it. It's also a Indeed. very bad guitar that I used here. Simply eat cake it. I actually like it. Indeed. I devour all the cake. I used a pretty bad guitar for this. Yeah, the guitar isn't great. I didn't own very good guitar effects yet. And the tappy sounds are really too loud. Yeah, the, 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 the clicky sounds are really loud. Mm. I actually don't mind that. It's I fun. don't like it. I like it. I like the keys though, the keys are great. Man, the, the, the problem with the guitar is it has potential to be really good. Why well, are you expecting a solo? <laughs> I wanna see if I can figure out eventually to play this. Because it's actually not bad. It's just that the, the guitar itself is really good. Yeah, the guitar itself is pretty bad. The 
thing with the guitar though, it's more of it's more of a sound to be used from a background instead of a foreground like it is now. Yeah. For this next one I learned about Spitfire Labs. Which is a a great collection of free instruments. The song I made is entirely made with the whale sounds instrument that they have and some drum samples I had lying around. I do highly recommend Labs. Let's have a listen. Yeah. So which one's next? Oh, chilling in the abyss. We chilling in the abyss, boys. This is a pretty chilly song. I just thought of a joke, but it's probably not. Uh, it's probably not good enough uh, for YouTube. Oh, you can <laughs> you probably know what I'm thinking. <laughs> Slow, tell it anyways. Um, submarine. Oh yeah, we've, we've made some cooking videos before. Oh, we've, we've definitely laughed about a submarine. Here, co here comes the ice cream car. <laughs> I love that I have an ice cream car sound in an underwater song. Nobody expect the ice yo, cream. Yo, class, should I add a mini submarine to the new project? N no, 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 no. <laughs> do it. Well, submersible Just technique. Do it. <laughs> this song, I, I like this song. Yeah, this it's a good song. It's just a bit too short. I don't know. A bit short indeed. But it had to be. Because at the time I had no clue how to go on from this point. Next up, I felt like using the good old Delay Lama. I think this tune turned out pretty well. I do need a better guitar, so... Yeah. Next up, I felt like using the good old Delay Lama. I think this tune turned out pretty good. I do need a better guitar sound, though. Oh, this is the Delay Lama one. Oh. <laughs> I love how you actually put the Delay Lama in the boat. <laughs> <laughs> This is also a collage of a bunch of pictures together and then a filter over. <laughs> and the audio wave just flies. I also past. I also gave Viking helmets to the delay lamas and one of them has an electric guitar. Because clearly <laughs> electric guitars existed in the time of Vikings. <laughs> Obviously. Yeah, of course. <clears throat> This is a pretty chill song. This was used on the Please Hold screen. They're all pretty chill when I sleep. On the You'll Be Right Back screen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We've used this song as well. Yosh. I actually think we also used... Um... We've used Chilling in the Abyss before. Yeah, but we've also used... I think we've used... we have a version of this where it's like just a part of it. I think so, yeah. The, the lava sounds great in this one. <sighs> ah, the delay lama. I, I think this is the only time I've actually used the lama in this one. I, I really hope we can make him work in FL, because otherwise I'm gonna miss him. I won't miss him. <laughs> he sounds great here though. I'm gonna admit one thing. Though. Yeah. That was a voice crack. I'm gonna admit what one was that thing. Like, uh, I, I wanted to say something and a enormous voice crack just happened. Nah, I wanna say one thing. I keep getting the feeling like the song is gonna start any second, but it's not because this is the song. Yeah, it's tripping me out. I used to have I used to have that problem a lot in the first album, where it feels like it, the song never fully starts. It, it's just a song you'd hear while free room in a game or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I use a lot of bells, chimes, and music, music. Yeah, music boxes. I hope in, you uh, use music. In my things. You yeah, use music, music boxes, bells, in and your chimes. songs. I was thinking the I same sure thing. I sure hope it does. <laughs> I sure hope it do. Now I use a lot of like the metally bell, chime, and uh, music box sounds in my songs. Almost all of my songs have one of those. The guitar on this song is also kind of a bit... 
So at this point I had gotten pretty comfortable making the types of music that I make. So I decided to get another genre under my belt. Music tutorial YouTube told me Russian hard bass is kinda simple, so I went for that genre. Let's see how I did. Oh yeah, it's your boy Rush B. Ah yes. <laughs> I love that video for this Some Russian hard days. Yeah. <laughs> we fused this in the. Now is that working out for you? A sanctionless song. I love this song. I've also used this for my own racing videos. Imagine being in your racing video. I actually still have videos and I'm thinking you're in them probably. And then at some yeah. point I decided. Some point. Uh, uh, here, at this point I realized when making this song. That Eurobeat and uh, Russian hard bass have the same drum patterns. So then I transitioned. I, I love how when you told me, like, I don't know how to continue this song. And then we were like, just like talking, and then somehow you mentioned, this is kind of Eurobeat, isn't it? I was like, yes, do it! Oh, that's initial D. <laughs> uh, Eurobeat, yeah, that's initial D music. Also initial no, I mean, D. On like the yeah. yeah, but the, it's also the initial D track. Yeah, and now it's gonna be both at once. That is the uh, Panda Trueno that uh, Fujiwara Takumi drives in initial D. Yeah, I know. And if you like the initial D, and then, and then we the rest of it. Right now, go watch it. <laughs> I got dragons out with the guy in the car. <laughs> no, I actually forgot that happened, and I love that. <laughs> That's clearly how you drift the car. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine this guy copyright claim. <laughs> I actually really like this song. Yeah, I have done a weirdly I, large I, amount of Russian hard bass. <laughs> I like the Eurobeat part of this movie. Because I think that's the best part. And the mixed part as well. I think the hard bass part in the beginning is like the worst part of the song. But I actually it's really like that as well. Sneaky Breaky is definitely a better hard bass song. Yeah. So is Moscow Metro, but Moscow Metro is like one of my best songs. Yeah. But that's not on this album. Nah, that's not on this album. That's on the second album. That's Sanctuary called Let Me song. Show You Around. You know, Barry is right. The Eurobeat parts are not bad. I should try that genre again. Oh wait, I did. I wanted to re-genre one of my pieces as practice, so I took our main team, the old final, and turned it into something like Eurobeat. Let's see how I did. Alright, what's next? Ooh, cruising cassette. Is this, this is on a two song? This is on Barry's videos. No, this is album one. Oh, that was still album one. Oh, yeah. I didn't know. With By the way, this is also a collab. Yeah, I just want to say, because this is the old final that reviewing reviewing album. Thing, right? Yeah, yeah. But that radio that has the cassette on it is not in the car that the picture is from. <laughs> Yo, with your... <laughs> that radio is also weirdly strange. Yo, with your Photoshop shenanigans. Yeah, I like it as well. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. I like it. The sync in the background. The synths? Where? There's multiple synths in the background. I, I love how it goes like we, we, and it just like stops for a second. The chords, yeah. Yeah. Like you can't shut the hands. Does it feel like that? Oh, it says the cruising cassette on the bottom, but this is, yeah, the, this the, is the quality is great. The B version yeah. of, uh, what? Of the, this is the B version of the old vinyl. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
This part is the beaver. Which the B version of the old final never got released. Uh, the, so this uh, is the only. Uh, no, a small part of the B version is in the calm section of the old final. Oh, it is it? Yeah, it only plays for a little bit though. Cause, cause we use the B version a lot in yeah. like time lapses and stuff. Yeah, yeah the, the B version, version, the B version is in the original, just only a small yeah. bit of it. I, I really like the B version. What about the C version? That doesn't exist yet. <laughs> That's this, it's the cassette Are we version. first going for the I'm making an orchestral version of the old vinyl as well. But that's gonna take a while, because I'm bad at the orchestral for now. I, I love how you have versions of your song. It's like it's like Area 11 when, when they released Overdrive A, Overdrive B, and Overdrive uh, Override A, Override B, and Override C. For ominous ambience, we actually have versions one, A, B, and C. Well, it's 1, 2, and 3, isn't it? I think so, yeah. There's only one upload, because it's the same, except for some randomness that's different. Yeah. This song is definitely a vibe. You do hear my production quality increasing throughout the album. Yes. And it is oh, definitely the like... Oh, it's getting better a bit. Mm-hmm. Ominous ambience. Jojo! The Jojo symbol! (laughs) Those are used for ominous. I've actually watched that though, Barry, you haven't. (laughs) Barry has actually watched part 1 and 2, I think. No, only one. I have watched part 1 and 2. I only only watched part 1. Get to to part 3, that's my favourite. The, he's, gonna, the, he's gonna watch them all eventually. I actually the goal was to watch Klaus are watching part four for like how many years already? <laughs> the, the goal, the goal was to toggle between JoJo's and uh, and One Piece and just like swap between them. But yeah. That never happened. <laughs> How is I that like working out for It's you? great for background. Shut up, Drigenzi! I still have a life. <laughs> this song is great for background stuff. Yeah. We use this a lot for background stuff. Yeah. I also love that I use the Atarangi World logo in the background. Oh yeah, I thought it was. Nice. Oh wait, now I recognize. I honestly thought it was like giant ass snake. If you look in space, what do you see? We have lots of small. versions of the Atarangi logo. This one yeah, is just again. like different animal eyes and faces put together. Yeah, I thought it was like a giant anaconda snake. Holy hell. No, it's just the Atarangi logo. <laughs> You'd be surprised how much you can do with an Atarangi logo. No, it's just Shia LaBeouf. No, it's a switch on team anyway. Where is he? The piano bit here, the dun 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 dun, is literally Lavender Town. Nice. <laughs> In all no, it's honesty, not. I can't, I, I don't hear it. It's a dun dun dun. From Lavender Town. It is pretty soft. It's at a di- no, it's the main part that you're hearing. And it's in a, it's in a different uh, key and in a different speed. I hear it fine. Oh yeah, yeah, I hear it fine too. But if your music is, if your volume is pretty low, then you'll mostly hear the the guitar. The static. Hear the guitar. <laughs> I mean, if I if I put my volume too low. Oh wait, wait, wait! Now I actually hear it. Like if I really focus, I can hear it. (laughs) It's just the static that my brain makes. Put it into a song. (laughs) Just put a just put a mic next to your ear or something. <laughs> Klaus, now that you said that it's from Lavender Why Town, I'm, I'm waiting Why not? for a specific like drop. Yeah, but this one is meant to be a background song. It's uh, yeah, an I, ambience I just song. Yeah, like I'm waiting for the Lavender Town drop, and it just is. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Say that. Giant robot drop. <laughs> this song fakes out all of the Pokemon events. <laughs> But this is an ambient song, I have a few of those, which they don't, they're on purpose that they don't have a lot going on. This is the sort of so- uh, track I'd hear in a horror game before it goes quiet and then there's a drum scare. Yeah, that's why it's ominous ambience. 
Nee. Kijk of de plek. Een regelig ambiance. Dat is ook zo. Ik denk dat is een other ambiance song out, which is called the Dream Ambiance. Yes. And I've got a mysterious ambiance ready for the next album. I have not heard that. But I guess I haven't heard much of well, the Well, it's difficult album. because well, not a lot is fan. out yet. Well, the current well, album. I, I thought you were a fan. On the Zambians, I experimented with some Vital patches. Vital is a, a great free synth. Have a look at it. So the patches I used were semi rambleized Rambleized. The patches I used were semi randomized. For example, the guitar that happens. The next song, though, is called It Takes Three. The making of that can be seen in this video. It was also a challenge to practice remixing. It ended up as a pretty fun song. Let's have a look. Oh, he takes three. <laughs> right, I forgot we did that. <laughs> so this is based on a piece of music Barry and Joanna made in It Takes Two, the game. Nice. I, I watched um, I watched that. Yeah. That in the strange. music section, they made the... the uh, they made the song and I... Based this on that. You stole it. I didn't. <laughs> I, I didn't. I recreated it from the ground up. Yeah. Well, you wanted to use parts of it from the game, but I that ended didn't up not being up. possible. Why not? It just didn't quite work. Yeah, it didn't work. So out I right. just recreated the sound. I also did a quick art in the background. Because I can. Which is hilarious. If only Joanna was here for this. Yeah. <laughs> I love for me you just drew Barry <laughs> Bot. <laughs> he made Barry so quickly. <laughs> just like, ah, just give him a robot camera, <laughs> done. Just Photoshop a robot from Google Images. To be honest, accurate. <laughs> and then the puppet master himself. <laughs> evil. The director of the circus. <laughs> Oh, it's Buggy. <laughs> buggy theater, <Andy. laughs> Because Buggy does that thing. I think the way that it. I made me looks very cool here. That's the most ghostly I've ever managed to make art look. I love the LMMS logo. I like the hair on the body bot. <laughs> that's, that's not hair, that's just 4G and 5G antennas. Yeah. No, it's hair now. <laughs> it's canonically it's hair, hair, buddy. And, and the middle two are a taser. <laughs> that's why they're thicker. Just accept it, it's canonically hair. <laughs> One arm had a shoulder. The other had a shoulder, the other didn't. <laughs> And then for the next one, I wanted to make some Russian hard bass that actually stays the same genre. I also wanted a track with a loopable calm part and a loopable high energy part for videos. Oh, sneaky bricky. Oh, sneaky bricky. <laughs> this picture is absolutely hilarious. Yes, is it is. Is this Monster Hunter World inspired? Oh, wait, yeah, I remember this. What? The picture? There's a, there's a bottle of vodka next to the, the tree. There's a bottle of vodka in the tree. Oh, yeah. And, and there's a guy in the tree, but the tree that he, he's on is just a copy of a branch sticking out of the ground. <laughs> yeah. This branch here, and this branch is the same branch. <laughs> this branch, this rock, this building, and the background are all separate images. Yeah, but that's total. Also, there's a big, <laughs> big fungus. Yeah, yeah the art I love how nice. slow the song starts, but then it just gets hard. I love the red eyes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also, how is that guy staying up there? <laughs> on, the, on the building, it's just <laughs> sideways. It's mountain goat. Foot class. <laughs> He's also huge. Yeah, that, that's actually me, buddy. Also, I love that I made the audio level bars drunk by having them droop down. <laughs> They're all like droopy at the end. 
I really like this one. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, it's for like this is Eurobeat, I guess, but it works. No, this is Russian hard bass. Is it? Sanction it. That's why the ninjas are there, buddy. The Russian, the Russian Gothic ninjas. The ninjas come from Russia, apparently. <laughs> yeah, they Now the ninjas are there because this is sneaky, Bricky. Alright, yeah. <laughs> I actually made this song specifically for use in Tarkov, but we never ended up using it. Because we stopped yeah, uh, we recording stopped. Tarkov soon after. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. This was made with like a calm part that's loopable and then an intense part that starts. So we had the calm part when we were sneaking around and then we could uh, have the have the big part at the ones. Yeah. I still like me in Tarkov. <laughs> I cannot aim, so I'm just gonna use shotguns. And then finally I made this big compilation song using MIDI and instruments from all the other tracks to celebrate the finishing of my first album. It was heal uh, healy. It was really hard. I don't recommend doing this. So this one is called Perfect, uh, Perfectly Planned, and it uses parts of all of the songs on the album. Why is there a warning that the video is in the development and will never be finished? <laughs> I feel like there's a backstory there without I forgot. <laughs> it's because I didn't feel like making a proper looking background. Also, the delay lama is right in the middle, very transparent. Yes, of mm -hmm. course. You look very closely, there's a delay lama over top of that background. I also love the Here little Atarangi logo is just flying here. around. Yeah, the tiny Atarangi logo. Nobody expects tiny Atarangi logo. This is just all of the songs put together. <laughs> the ending... The e just the epic ending on a, comp uh, a compilation. The drums with the ominous ambiance three note thing sounds so cool in my opinion. Because that's the dun 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 mm -hmm. from ominous ambiance, and it sounds so cool with these drums. What is it? Where? Your face. Simply, you've done a joke before and it's I not, gonna, always and make it's not gonna get any better the more you make it. I will always keep making it, buddy. It's my standards. I always keep making bad jokes. You got damn sleep, MCC Manly. <laughs> so that you know that I am not replaced by a synth. It felt like the song was about to start. <laughs> I love that transition sound. You stole me, song! You betrayed me. There we go. We're speeding up. I found it speeding up. Yeah. We're going. I think we're gonna go Eurobeat in a second. Mm -hmm. Slowing down, it just drops for a second. <clears throat> oh, there he is. <laughs> I plan to do a put together song like this for every album, but it's so much work. Naturally. So I'm just gonna do them sometimes. Nah, I just do them every time. 
iets gevoerd. Iets te dealen, lama. Of already not done it for the second album. The second album is already done. You can still release it. It's too late. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Eventually, just make an album, which is just album remix. I wanted to say the same thing. <laughs> And then remix that album. <laughs> this is a fun sounding part. I don't remember this song very well because I don't listen to it a lot. Me neither. I listen to most of my own words. music, so I can hear. I don't. Is is this even on our on our list that I can use in videos? I don't know. I don't think it is. We're doing it live, people. <laughs> We're doing it, people, live. I sure hope not. I do like that I have all of the thumbnails. Dalai Lama! It's your boy, Tibet Downhill. Oh my god, I'm never gonna hear the end of it. Of what? The end of what? The universe! Oh, uh, Dalai Lama. Yo, Klaus. This song is in, <laughs> in the early days folder on the dance. Barry. Barry. It's your it's job, your... goddammit. No, it's not. I also love how the top two rise songs are both 1 minute 40, but you just missed one second. <laughs> I love how you made him sound more robotic here and that will really work. Mm. Alright, so that's the album. And that's the end. In case you're wondering why we keep turning around from old timey Klaus to modern Klaus, from like a few weeks later. It's so I have easy transitions to cut this animation file into pieces. I'm not animating one one hour long animation. Who do you think I am? I'm not making a movie for you guys. Let us know your thoughts and we'll see you next time.